Lewis Fry Richardson, he thought it would be possible to predict the weather by calculating it, that is by treating it as a mathematical problem. So he gathered lots and lots of data from across Europe based on uh, the weather on a single morning. And then he spent uh, months, in fact, with a pencil and a piece of paper calculating what would happen uh, over the course of that day. And it took him about four months to perform a single one-day weather forecast for the whole of Europe. But he was broadly correct. And he was the first person to see uh, this section of the natural world as something that could be reduced to data, computed um, and projected into the future. And that's kind of what we've based a huge amount of 20th century thought on. It's what I would call computational thinking. This belief that the world can be reduced to data, uh, can be modelled, can be completely understood. Um, it descends from the Enlightenment, the belief that if we could only know more about the world, uh, we'd have in, uh, more control over it. Unfortunately, it seems increasingly apparent that that belief is failing. It's one of the central paradoxes of our age that we know more and more about the world. More and more information is available to all of us. Um, and yet the world seems mostly characterized by division, by fundamentalism, by these competing incredibly toxic opinions that more information, more data about the world isn't helping us to resolve it in any way. And you can see this even in the weather, in, in that thing that Lewis Fry Richardson first calculated, turned into something that was computable. Um, because even our weather predictions are starting to, to fail us now. We're, we can gather so much information about the world, but the world is outrunning us, um, particularly as a result of climate change. Uh, the weather is becoming so chaotic that our ability to predict is actually reducing. Uh, over the last century, we've got out to about a week or 10 days ahead. Uh, that horizon is now uh, coming back towards us. So we face a future in which we have ever more data about the world, um, and yet we know ever less about it. And that is a core character of a, a new dark age.